name is Muhammad Askar. What's one of your first childhood memories? Well, there's a lot of memories. I don't know which one you want to ask me because I was a very hyperactive child. And I was in everything, whatever it is, especially sports. Describe the neighborhood where you grew up. I grew up in, when I, I just told you, when we were in Pisha, we were flew back to Moripur, Karachi, in the Royal Pakistan Air Force Base. And it's, in, it's a camp number two, they call it. There were one to nine camps, officer, officer camps and ranks camp and civilian camps. So we were in civilian camp and my, my father was in charge on that. And I raised there, I went to my first school, first mosque, first everything. I was very, very young there. My primary school, and it was wonderful to to be raised there because it is one of the most prettiest place near the sea, mountain, and some small river there. And people used to come there for holidays. Uh, holiday resorts are there called Ox Bay, not far from Moripur. Describe your home. Home is a castle for a person. And my parents, we came from India left everything there, empty-handed from Delhi to Peshawar. We flew by air. Luckily, we survived, me and my two brothers. But eventually, my parents had uh, nine siblings. But the fact is, we three of us flew from uh, Delhi to Peshawar, Pakistan, no Pakistan, and we were raised there. And it's great. And why did you have to flee India? because India was divided uh, in 1947. Uh, I was born in 19, I was only two years old. I don't remember anything. And I was, we were very lucky if we had to come by train or by any means, we would have been killed. What were your favorite subjects at school? Well, I, in school, in my, our time, we used to go for this matriculation and FA and BA system. I don't know what you call in Britain, O level, A level or GCSE. So there were a mix of subjects, history, geography, mathematics, English, they used to learn till the age of 15. And then you go to college and then college, you choose your subject for certain direction, whether you would like to be a doctor, solicitor, accountant, whatever it is. I chose medical, but I couldn't get medical school admission because of my sports activities. And then I did my degree in political science and sociology. And I, I topped the, uh, my college, I was first in the college in, uh, in, in examinations. What was your greatest hardship and what lessons did you learn from that experience? Hardship life, I, I, I think, you know, I'm very lucky in, in certain ways. My back home, 20 odd years in Pakistan and then nearly 50 years in this country, so I have the best of the both worlds. I learned, I learned some Eastern culture with Western and I, I, I'm enjoying the best of both. And hardship, you can say, when I came here and on my own, you can imagine I couldn't speak English and I had to work hard, um, look after home. You know, I, I didn't know how to even clean and cook. I couldn't make even tea. Because we were not taught in family and cooking, cleaning, washing, shopping, everything. I learned different ways. Sometimes hard with a lot of different stories about it, but it's great. I learned with experience. What do you treasure the most? My family and my country, my country, United Kingdom. How did you decide your, on your career? The thing is, I just wanted to make sure that I learned in life to be something great. That's what I wanted to be. And I never missed an opportunity in my life. If there was any opportunity for available, I, I just go for it. And my belief is I always believe in plan B. You learn something in life and then you carry on learning something else.